this. Let's get into your energies and then get clarity with tarot. I want to say thank you for all the Virgos that have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate all of you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you for all your comments. Please like this. It helps my algorithm down below. I would appreciate that so much, guys. Thank you. My personals are still open. You'll find that in the description box down below as well. Also, all links to my, uh, you'll find a link to my Patreon, which has all extended for $6 a month. All access pass to every extended. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and extras. Occasionally you do some extras in there, which I'm going to be obviously doing more of all the time. All right, Virgo. I'm done with my selfless plug. Let's get into this. Okay, we've got Thinking Man in the reverse. Angel of Love in the reverse. Hmm, ooh, I think I know what's happening here. And, all right. Yep, that just confirms it for me. So you guys are having trouble right now. You may be really obsessively thinking about someone, wondering if they're gonna either return love or give you the, uh... <laughs> the communication you need okay here with the thinking man in reverse i also feel with the um first chakra here maybe some of you guys are feeling a little just not confident okay either in a relationship or in the situation all right so let's go ahead and start doing this next let's get into tarot we'll get some clarity with tarot here for our beautiful beautiful virgos okay all right, tell me about the thinking man. Tell me about the thinking man. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you guys may be... Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like your focus has been more on family and your tribe and all that business lately and you maybe have been focusing less on your personal gain and more on these things king of swords you're wanting communication okay with someone and it could be about family but i feel also some of you may be actually focusing pretty heavily on working on your money to a point where it's kind of exhausting you just a little bit okay but right now, you want to communicate. You want to talk about your future here. But I feel maybe it's with a person. Tell me about the angel of love, please, for Virgo. We've got Page of Swords. Yeah, you want communication. You see this? Okay, you want to talk with someone about your future with them. Someone may be heavily focused on themselves instead of focusing on your future together. Tell me more. Tell me more. Five of Swords. There's been conflict, okay, between you and this person. They're kind of standing their ground for some reason or another. You'll know why that is. Ah, that's why. Eight of Pentacles. They may be focused priorly on, on other things in their life that they that they really want to grow. Okay, and you're you're wanting to communicate with them, but they're blocking you from getting within the space of actually growing, Virgo. It's like, it's like they're heavily focused, their eye is on the prize, okay, in their own life. This is making you lose confidence in the relationship. Yes, nine of swords, you're getting anxiety, okay, you're worried. You're worried that maybe this relationship, you know, is it what I want? Is it commitment? Is it, you know, this person is really standing their ground. You may feel like, you know, how, how am I going to get in here? Okay, this person is, it's like they're holding their own. Okay, one more. Four of Wands, stability. Yeah, you really want to create a home. Sorry about that, Virgo. You really want to create a home with someone. I really feel like you do. And you want you want this. You want a commitment. But you feel as though things may be flipping. Or you're not getting the love that you need. And you're trying to communicate that with them. But yeah, there's some miscommunication. Bottom of the deck challenge is... Here it is. Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. Both of you guys, you know, having an equal give and take. You want this. You, know, you want to share. You want to make sure that it's equal. Could also be that you've been working pretty hard 
and um, you haven't had the time to actually make a relationship more equal or they haven't. So perhaps you're kind of obsessing a little bit, Virgo, over like, what do I do? What do I do now? I don't know how to make this better. What am I supposed to do next? Okay, so some of you guys are really worried and I can feel this in your energy. Okay, let's see. Three cards for Virgo, please. Past, present, future. Past, present, future. Three cards for Virgo. I have a blanket on. Okay, we've got Herman in reverse. Here you are, Virgo. I have a blanket on because where I live in the Pacific Northwest, it is freezing. We have Knight of Swords in the present energy. Okay. More communication needed. And the devil in reverse. All right. So, yeah, you guys, really, you may be isolating yourself. You've got Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're afraid of this, okay? You're afraid you're going to maybe even lose something. You're afraid of uh, losing the emotional investment you have or that they have in you. Okay, you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, you could deal with another Virgo or an air sign. Um, it could be a fire. But I feel more than anything, you want to talk. Virgo wants to talk. Okay, this is literally what I'm going to title this. Virgo wants to talk. <laughs> but yeah, you guys be careful how much you're obsessing over this with the hermit in reverse and the thinking man. You may be kind of isolating yourself even though you want to talk and focusing heavily on work or on other things instead of actually getting out of this anxiety and releasing, you know, some toxic patterns that are keeping you from having an equal give and take in love. Okay. So let's get you guys some, this is a really quick reading, isn't it? Let's get you some actual Oracle cards here. Okay. What do we have? You are good enough. Here you are, Virgo. If you guys are worried, like, about your worth here in this situation i really you're the king of swords you know you can communicate anything you want to in a very good manner but for some reason i feel like maybe you're dealing with someone that's causing you anxiety okay conclusions are within reach i don't feel this is forever i think this is a transitory period for you right now or at least just momentarily like right now this week Okay, and so you're kind of losing confidence in something. It's like putting the cart before the horse. You know what I mean? Let's get one more. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, it's it's not going to last, Capricorn. This, this fear that you have. <laughs> okay, I think that maybe we got a little bit of catastrophic thinking here. Um, and you feel like you got to release something. This person is busy. Maybe they're holding their own, like they don't want to, you know, they don't want to fight or they're focusing highly on themselves. They may be like self-care kind of situation, right? And you're wondering, this could be at a distance, this person that you're dealing with. Okay, it could be long distance. And you know, with COVID, everybody is at home. Like a lot of people are at home. <laughs> Maybe you haven't seen this person for a while. Okay. All right, let's get you a nature's whisper. One of these, please. What what can we do to help Virgo here? What does Virgo need to hear? Perfect setting. <laughs> Your person is focusing on um, their own, like, self-care and selfishness in a sense. Like, they're focusing on making things feel good in their life right now. But I don't think this is something that... You should put on, you know, as your self-worth, right? This has nothing to do with your self-worth. I think this has everything to do with them. All right, Virgo? <laughs> I really do feel that. Mm -hmm. It happens. You know, sometimes sometimes people, they're going and they're doing their own thing. And then we start worrying. And then maybe you obsessively are thinking about this just a little bit too much. And, you know, like, get out of your head a little bit. Okay. You know, I feel for whoever this is resonating with, like, take some, take care of yourself. All right. Like, you can do the same. Mirror someone else's energy. That's what I always say. Mirror their energy. What do we have? Healing. So they may be healing from something right now. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Find, feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Okay. Let's get two more. 
If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Yes, Virgo, like, stop overthinking it, boo. Okay, you're overthinking this, like, way too much. You're all up in your head, all right? You got to release and go drop down into your heart and actually, like, just, like, it's starting to affect your confidence, okay? You know, hey, you don't have to take my word for it. If you want to think, go ahead. But I feel it's driving you a bit bonkers. You guys remember that cartoon, Bonkers? I used to watch that when I was young. Okay. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. 